Fluorocarine is a pharmaceutical group based uh, in Japan as the headquarter. And this is an international company covering mostly Asia, Europe, and the US. Uh, this is a group which started, I think it was uh, around 1949, so it's uh, close to 70 years old. And um, uh, Kiwa uh, is employing now 7,000 uh, collaborators. And uh, basically, we have an integrated research from fundamental research to development and production of products. And definitely, the group now is specializing in monoclonal antibodies specifically for rare disease. And uh, this is where we stand today, aside the fact that uh, apart from these rare diseases, we work in uh, uh, oncology supportive care. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm uh, proud enough, I mean, to manage uh, cure occurring in France. We have, as a motto, commitment for life, which means that beyond commercializing pharmaceutical products or biotechnologies, uh, we have uh, really in mind as a service to support the medical community in uh, continuous medical education. And as part of medical education, of course, I mean, the concept of uh, interactive clinical cases was something which was really attracting to us because of the new technological aspect. we had to train experts because, I mean, uh, there is a big difference between the standard uh, techniques of medical education, which is really a top-down process uh, with a poor participation of, uh, I mean, the people, I mean, being trained. So basically, this is the interaction concept, which was interesting to us, as long as, I mean, all the clinicians or specialists around the table are sharing experience and they can go back and forth to the first consultation, the last one, biologics or x-rays protocols or uh, oncologic protocols, chemotherapy. So basically, I mean, uh, that was a change. And our first, I mean, interrogation was definitely whether these experts would be in a position to manage technically on iPads, I mean, this, uh, this tool. We were very surprised when we started. I mean, the first meeting was a kickoff with about 10 experts. And uh, finally, I mean, they got used with the, I mean, the tool extremely easily. So that was really a, a very positive surprise. And these 10 experts uh, afterwards, I mean, trained, I think there's an average 60 experts because we organized a, a symposium uh, on, this, uh, on these clinical cases. And uh, interactive is really I mean, it's something which is fundamental. And after that, I mean, all these experts were in a position, of course, to manage, I mean, clinical, um, continuous medical education sessions all over the country. We are involved in uh, oncology supportive care. And in particular, I mean, we've got um, medicine dedicated to pain and specifically cancer pain. So, of course, this is a field of expertise we have, and that was, I mean, the rationale for us to really work together with specialists, considering they built up the cases and the clinical cases. We did not. I mean, this is their competences. But we are extremely sensitive in the company on uh, the uh, pain care uh, for, for cancer patients. This is really one of our definite dedication. Of course, I mean, the clinical cases are not used with patients, but definitely, I mean, technology here is really supporting patient care. Because if we really look at pain care in any country, I mean, it's taken different ways. And really, the level of caring of pain in cancer patient is not always, I mean, uh, with a high satisfaction, I would say. The primary endpoint for, I mean, uh, cancer specialists is really to treat the tumor. All the other supportive, I mean, uh, uh, tools they can have, I mean, is not, I mean, used at the same level everywhere. So that's uh, definitely a way to sensitize specialists that treating 
and taking care of pain is fundamental for cancer patients. In this way, becoming more conscious of this, that is going probably to be a help for, for patients. Our group is perfectly aware that we developed that I mean, locally for France, and we are considering how we could do that I mean, at an international level. But definitely, I mean, the practice of medicine is quite different from one country to another, so we would have any way to redevelop, I mean, the, the clinical cases from scratch. But probably, I mean, this is something I'm convinced is going to be developed all over the world. I think, I mean, we, we've got a permanent relationship, uh, professionally wise, of course, with uh, medical societies, because we close on the pathologies to treat. I mean, definitely we participate to uh, their annual congresses, uh, we participate with symposia, etc. So definitely, I mean, there is most probably a way to develop partnerships in be building up clinical cases, whether for students or for, I mean, uh, physicians for continuous uh, medical education, we call that CME. Uh, on a continuous basis. And I think they are quite interested. Uh, just one example is that one of the experts we trained, I mean, for, I mean, the clinical cases uh, we developed uh, uh, with you, uh, which is, I mean, a sim for health. Uh, definitely, I mean, the experts found it sufficiently attractive and interesting uh, that uh, he wrote a poster which poster he presented at the French uh, Society of Oncology Supportive Care at the annual congress last year. So that's a good example that definitely there is an interest in partnering together. <music>